I destroyed my fiancé's dead ex-wife photos and her antique horse collection and my fiancé doesn't know. Trigger warning. Death of a parent, destruction of property, emotional abuse and emotional manipulation, so I have been keeping this for a couple of months. I, 26F, have been with my fiancé Ale, 27M, for two years but I've known him when I was a freshman in high school and he was sophomore. He was with his deceased ex-wife Lorraine when they were in middle school. I always kinda had feelings for Ale, even when I was in relationship with my ex-boyfriend from high school, we broke up of course. But Ale has two kids Basil, 8M, and Bertie, 3F. I love those kids as my own and see them as my own. He was married to his deceased ex-wife Lorraine when she was 18 and he was 19. Had their son after they got married. Sadly Lorraine passed away from childbirth with their daughter Bertie. I comfort him when he was grieving. After a year of her passing we got into a relationship. He's the best partner I can ever ask for and we are getting married in summer of July. Bertie sees me as her mother and Basil sees me more as an aunt than a mom. I was always Auntie Coco, but my name is Celia. Basil does have a picture of Ale and him and Lorraine when she was five months pregnant with Bertie. He does not have a picture of us together as a family. He still misses his mom. I was kinda a little jealous of Lorraine. Especially during high school. Sometimes I wish I was the birth mother of Basil and Bertie. I wished I had his kids first and Ale doesn't want any more kids biologically. Because he told me he only wanted Lorraine to have his kids. He had a vasectomy. He told me he'd rather just adopt, or I use a sperm donor which makes me upset. I felt so insecure, about all of it. Thinking Lorraine is in the way. All of Ale's friends knew Lorraine in and out. Since they all knew each other in middle school and had the same old friend group growing up all together. Especially Ale's best friend Jordan. He adored Lorraine. So did his wife Ruth, which is Lorraine's best friend. I know them but I am not close to them. They all talk about Lorraine from time to time. About the things they used to do. They are the godparents of Basil and Bertie. So they're around a lot. I however didn't know Lorraine that much, but she was nice to me. It felt fake though. So I wasn't really a big fan of her. But respected her enough. I felt kinda like I was intruding in Ale's beautiful family. I remember going through the attic and finding some of Lorraine's and Ale's belongings. With photos from middle school to before her passing. Also with Ale's old gifts that, Lorraine given him to Lorraine's gifts from Ale have given her. A lot of horses as Lorraine grew up on a horse ranch and loved horses. Ale was keeping this for his kids to give when they were older. To treasure their mother's stuff. I also found another box filled with Lorraine's collection of old vintage and antique stuff of horses and gifts from her friends, Ale's friends, and family and Ale's family. I got jealous as Ale was planning on giving the stuff of Lorraine's horse collection and gifts to Bertie. Ale has already given Bertie Lorraine's old stuff zebra when she was a young child and given Basil an old knife that belonged to Lorraine's grandfather. All I know is, I wanted everything gone. When, Ale took Basil and Bertie to Lorraine's parents house for a few days i stayed back because of work i knew this was an opportunity to get rid of lorraine's stuff and photos so i took the knife and the stuffed zebra all the photos of lorraine in it and her antique horse collection burned all the photos through her antique collection away and destroyed some cut open all the stuffed toys of lorraine's and letters she wrote destroyed every single thing of hers i felt satisfied knowing she won't be a bother and nothing to be jealous of anymore i felt happy and not remorseful when Ale and the kids came back, I pretended as nothing happened and was just normal. It only took a few days when, they noticed. Especially Basil he couldn't, find his photo of him and his mother or the knife. He raised awareness of the disappearance of the stuff, which got Ale searching for the zebra. But couldn't have been found. We did move to a new house few months after. Ale searched through the attic to pack stuff and noticed that only, Lorraine's stuff were all gone. Her collection, childhood stuff, their pictures together, letters, gifts. Just everything. He searched frantically for it. He did question me as he knew about my insecurities and jealousy of Lorraine. But I told him that I would never do anything like that. He believed me. Thinking he left her stuff back at the old house. Even to this day he still doesn't know. Basil is however heart, broken which got me feeling a bit sad. Lorraine's parents and friends are very sad about it. As Ale did tell his friends and everyone. His family is sad about it. Because they loved Lorraine like a daughter. I wish they loved me like one. But I know I can't ever compare to her. Ale's friends are also so sad about what happened. Everyone is sad. But they don't know a thing. Even Bertie is sad about the zebra. But that thing was old and gross. So I got her a new one. She doesn't love it like her old one but she sleeps with it once in a while. I don't think I can ever tell Ale or anyone this. But feels good to take it off my chest. Only person I really told were my two best friends Mandy and Holly. Mandy knows Ale but in high school they really weren't that close. But still hung out and, Holly didn't really like Ale that much she only knows him because she dated his friend Maxwell in high school to college on and off. Until Maxwell got married with a kid on the way. However Mandy and Holly have told me what I did wasn't right. But they won't tell anyone. 
So I feel safe knowing they won't tell Ale or anyone of his friends and family. Update. Basil was so distraught about his grandfather's knife and his picture with his mom. He sometimes will break down crying because he always tell his dad and I my mom is the prettiest lady. Or mom was the kindest lady. Bertie was still sad because she thought she lost or misplaced. Zipper her mother's childhood stuffed zebra. She sometimes couldn't sleep without Zipper. She would still come to sleep on me. As she sees me as her mom. Ale was upset thinking he left all of his memories of him and Lorraine behind and could never get them back. He said Bertie would never know much about her mother. Lorraine or didn't have any pictures of her mother. Or give her collection on NT courses. We'll never know the letters she wrote for Bertie and Basil. And for Basil to never receive any of his mother's old gifts. Basil really loved his mom and he did resent me sometimes. Saying I'm not his mother or I will never replace her. He does say he loves me of course. Just not as a mom. I tried to be a mom for him but that made him really resent me. I just feel really awful now. But I still didn't tell them for a while. However my best friend Mandy was the one that wanted me to tell Ale for the sake of him and the kids. She grew up with a stepmother who was resentful of her. She didn't want me to go down that path. She said that it's up to Ale on what he wants to do with our relationship and that I really messed up and dig myself a really dark deep hole. She says if I love Ale and the kids as I say I do. Then I need to tell him or she would. I never told him, I was too scared, so after weeks of not telling. Mandy came over one day when I was visiting my parents and little sister. Told Ale the whole thing, what I did and everything I destroyed. How I talked so badly about Lorraine. When I came home, Mandy was there and I looked over to Ale was fuming with so much anger. I never seen him like this before. We never had an argument before over the course of our relationship and friendship. This was the first. He screamed yelled at me how dare you do that to the love of my life and the mother of my children. I knew he wasn't over her and thought he loved me. I asked him if he ever did love me. He said I did and I wanted to marry you. Until you ruined mine and my kid's life forever, I don't anymore. We will never get those stuff back. I started crying so hard and asked Mandy why over and over. She didn't say anything. Ale was going off on me and broke up with me and told me to never get near me or his kids ever again. I told him what about Bertie? She calls me mama. And he said you were never her mother, just a sick person who wanted to seem like Lorraine never existed. And told me to get the hell out of his and his kids' life. After that I left and went to stay at my best friend Holly's place. Then what I learned the few days after. Ale told everyone, his friends, his family, his best friend Jordan, Lorraine's family and friends and her best friend Ruth. I was getting messages left and right from all of them. Telling me awful things. Calling me a names. Ruth texted me calling me a soulless crone who took her best friend memories and life from her kids, that one real stung and got me to broke down. Mandy even told me she will never, look at me the same and question our friendship and hasn't contacted me since. A lot of our other friends dropped me. But a few are still with me. So now here I am. At my best friend's place until I get back on my feet. With an ex-fiancé who wants to put a RO on me. I am harassing his family. And already caused enough life-damaging pain for his kids. His son Basil hates me. Because Ale told him. Bertie now wondering where I am probably. I don't know, his family hates me. I got along with his two older brothers and his parents. All his friends hate me and most of my friends do too. I lost my fiancé and my kids over my stupid jealousy.